Hey everyone, how's it going? I am back again with another pick a card reading. Today's reading is going to be a love reading. We are going to find out who is coming towards you in love. So if you're seeing someone or if you're super single and want to find out who is coming towards you next, whether it be someone you know already or someone you don't know at all, this reading is definitely for you. I have 10 options here. I want you all to observe each of these numbers and stones and see which one is really calling out to you. Now while you do that, I do want to announce that I do have exclusive pick a card readings going on on my Patreon and on my Instagram. On my Patreon, I uploaded a video about what your love interest is feeling about you yesterday. I also uploaded today about what you need to hear. And I will be uploading sometime this week about what is coming next in love and career in April. So if you wanna check that out, it's only a dollar to see all my exclusive videos. So thank you guys so much for the support so far on here, on there. Let's just hop right into the reading and find out who is coming towards you next in your love life. Get excited, guys. All right, option number one. So if you chose option number one, let's see what's going on here. So the first thing the angels want you to know is to keep an open mind. So I do feel like the person coming towards you is also a very open-minded person. I'm seeing somebody who could be from a different background or culture than you, different than you expected. And I think that it's definitely going to help expand your mind when meeting this person or when you meet this person. This person is actually very faithful. This person is very loyal, devoted. They're not the type of person that just wants to play the field. I feel like the keep an open mind is that they're an open-minded person about the different types of people they want to get to know. I'm also seeing that you're going to meet them at a time period that you're keeping an open mind. So maybe you're going to date this person alongside somebody else. I'm seeing that time is just going to bring you this person. They are a little bit slow to come forward. I do see that. You're going to have to be patient with them. But it's only because they really like to make sure they know what they're doing when they invest their time and energy into somebody. I do see this person as being kind of psychic themselves. You and this person are definitely going to have some like synchronicities. Like you guys are going to kind of know what each other each other are thinking you're gonna have like kind of be able to read each other's thoughts like you're just gonna have weird things that happen that you guys kind of feel very psychically connected I'm also feeling like this person is going to be extremely independent so they're not gonna need you for anything but they're definitely gonna want you around they're gonna want your company they're also gonna like the fact that you're independent I feel like with the person kind of hiding out over here this person's a little shy like I do feel like they have a shy side to them especially when it comes to their emotions and their feelings they rather talk about like all these pentacles like all the things they achieved or things that they've learned I feel like they have an easier time discussing that than their feelings I'm also seeing that this person is a king of wands, so they could be a fire sign, they could be a Sagittarius, they could be a Leo, they could be an Aries, or have fire in their chart pretty strong. I am seeing that this person is really bold. Um, they could enjoy like working out, going to the gym. As you can see, this guy has quite the physique on him, and he has kind of a way that's intimidating, so I do feel like this person could have some height on them or really nice hair. There's just things that are going to stand out about this person. They could have tan skin or be in the sun a lot. I do see this as well. I feel like this person definitely has some sort of affinity to um, warm client climates or water I'm seeing as well. So that could be something from their background or something from where they live or where they're from. But that's for a percentage of you guys. I am seeing like this, the person actually kind of looking similar to this man in the picture for some of you guys as well. So that's not bad. I'm also seeing that with the six of wands here. Yeah, this person definitely is going to put you on a pedestal. And I also feel like this person is going to be they're going to have a side to them that they, they kind of enjoy being like spent the center of attention or in the spotlight or they're going to enjoy watching you. Like maybe if you're in the spotlight, I do see that. Another thing I do see, yeah, this person definitely has like an entertaining side to them. Like I do feel like they're kind of, um, they could be very shy, but they could also be an entertainer when they choose to be. So I do feel like they do have a very fiery side to them as well. There's some kind of line of work or something that they do that they enjoy being seen by others. And also with the Six of Wands, they enjoy looking at you, putting you on a pedestal. I do feel like they really do love watching you. I kind of almost feel like they are overprotective, a little jealous over you as well. So with the third house here, yeah, like I said before, you guys could be dating this person alongside someone else. They could be a friend of someone you know. You could meet them through a friend. They can also start off as a friend, but I feel like this person's going to want to pursue you. I am seeing here as well that with Jupiter here, this person is really focused on their work. They also love to teach. They love to travel. And I'm seeing with Venus here, this person definitely has some... Um, some physical attractive traits. You're going to find this person physically attractive. I do feel like even though they're not going to be your usual type, everyone's going to find them attractive. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they may not be your usual type, but there definitely are something very attractive about them. And many people will be like, yeah, that's a good looking person right there. And they're going to find you very attractive. That's what, that's what I see there. With the eighth house here, this person is definitely 
kind of deep. Like they want to go through transformations in their life. And I feel like meeting you, they feel like they can, it can help them transform. And I, I do see that as being a really positive thing going on in your connection. And another thing I do see about you guys is that this person is definitely with a suit. I feel like they could have a side to them that is very prim and proper. They, they have a hard time unwinding, I feel like. But when they do, they definitely are very entertaining and fun. I feel like this person, it says lives Live each of your nine lives as if everyone was your last. Ignore convention, follow your own path. Like, this person's definitely on a path where they need to stop following what other people expect them to do. I'm also seeing that this person really needs to live each of their lives like it's their last. Like, it's kind of a joke, you know, because cats have long, nine lives. But I'm seeing that this person needs to see that, you know, they need to live life like it's their last. And I do feel like they have a side of them that's like that. And I see the Sagittarius kind of coming in them. But I also feel like it's a side of them that is very, like, reserved. And they, they need to start living life to the fullest and just trusting their own intuition and trusting their own feelings about things. So a future of this connection, I do see that like you and this person probably will be in each other's life long term because I do feel like for some of you guys, they could be coming sometime later this year or I feel like with the Knight of Swords, like you guys will always be in connection friends or even lovers um up until a year from now so this relationship does have some long-term potential so don't stop what you're doing and I also feel like that for a lot of you guys maybe it's unlikely that you would want to take the relationship fully to the next level but I do see that for some of you guys like you're definitely going to be stay friends with this person like you guys definitely have a great connection let's see what else we see for the future of this connection romantic feelings there's definitely going to be feelings here so let's see yeah, I feel like there's going to be a lot of ups and downs probably in your relationship as well. And I am seeing that um, there's just going to be a lot of learning going on here. Maybe for that person more than you. But I do see, you know, this person's going to be really devoted to you. So I feel like maybe you guys may not want to take that relationship to the next level. Because I do see you guys kind of taking... Like, this could be one of two people that you're dating. Or I do feel like you guys will take the relationship to the next level for some of you guys. Because we got romance here and improving health. Like this person might have some healing traits to them and you just feel really good when you're around them you feel really energized it could be a healer and i see within the next couple months like you guys will know what to do what direction this relationship's coming they could come in a couple months if you haven't met them yet and i do see that let's see what other messages are coming through um yeah see okay so i feel like there could be another friend involved in this situation or there could be someone else that likes you um that may kind of come in between this connection because i do feel that someone could be being two-faced and someone could be working against you in this connection but I do see that you will overcome that problem that you and this person have. So I also feel like that for some of you guys, this relationship can go long term. But I feel like, you know, it's no and unlikely that someone will get in between you. So that's good because I see that this is a really strong bond between you and this person. Either way, you guys will probably be in each other's life for long term. But I feel like this person's completely different than what you expected. And they're going to help open and expand your mind. And, you know, they're going to do the same for you. And I see also about this person that... Yeah, they're just going through a lot of transformations in their life with death here. And I do see this being a really significant meeting. Overall, this person's really mature. They're level-headed. They really want to... They think before they act, even though they have fire in them. They definitely are very contemplative. Um, and they, they're they going to come at you as a friend first. Maybe they're going to hide their feelings for a while. And then eventually, they're going to confess them kind of later down the line. That's kind of what I see coming in as a scenario. And for some of you guys, like, yeah, you're going to be hanging out with this person in group settings a lot. So it's going to be hard for them to express their feelings towards you. But they're just going to want to do the right and mature thing by you. And I do feel like this person is really um a good person like they have a really good heart they have a really good soul that's kind of what's coming in strong about about the scenario so yeah that's what i see for option number one i hope you guys like this message and if you know this person already then this is just a sign that you guys will continue to get to know each other better which is really positive positive. and yeah that's what i see for you guys coming up all right moving along let's get to the next option over here so here we go so if you chose option number two, let's see who is coming towards you in love and what's going to happen. What's your relationship going to be like? All right. So if you chose option number one, I do see someone kind of codependent coming into your life a little bit. Maybe someone a little clingy or a little insecure. I do feel like this person will be very passionate and you will be very passionate about this person. But there will kind of be something distracting you or them from this connection. I feel like, you know, there could be... They could be also have their mind on somebody else while pursuing you, or you can have your mind on somebody else. That's what I'm seeing. With the Seven of Pentacles here, I do feel like this person is kind of frustrated about where they are at in life. 
And that has nothing to do with you and your relationship with them, but I do feel like it is going to kind of affect your relationship because you're going to feel they're frustrated with you, but they're not really going to share that with you too much. And I do feel like with the Knight of Cups, this person is going to appear very romantic. They are going to pursue you. And I feel like this person, um, they do have the ability to go deep. I see the man looking into the cup. This person may also be interested in spirituality or just trying to figure things out. I also feel like this person could also be just really into like trying to analyze emotions and feelings of other people. They might also ask you how you're feeling. I feel with the Seven of Swords, this person will be really into getting to know you, but they're going to be hiding some things about themselves. So I feel like this person is going to ask you a lot of questions, really be interested in you. And I'm also seeing with the Hanged Man here that this person definitely is going through a transformation upon meeting you. And I feel like you're going to feel like there's something you could do about the situation, like they are who they are. Now, I'm also seeing with this person is that with Pluto here, um, this person does have an obsessive tendency, and I do feel like they will get a little obsessive over you, but you're also going to feel like something is a little off about them, and I feel like it's because the King of Swords is here as well, so I feel like this person, um, they have a lot of layers to their personality, but I do feel like they are very logical, and they will try to do the most logical thing possible, but they're also going to, even though they're going to try to, like, read you, understand you, understand your feelings, they're not going to reveal too much of their feelings, and you're going to find that very annoying, you're going to feel like your hands are tied, you don't know what to do. I'm seeing with the moon here, like, yeah, there's definitely some sort of, like, connection between you two, but this person definitely needs to um, be a little bit more nurturing, I feel like. Um, they definitely have a side of them that is very nurturing, but I feel like there's a side of them that still needs to be a little bit more um, connected to their own feelings, I see. And this person definitely is really responsible. They are about their career. They are about their success. And I'm seeing that... So this card says, you may not look like everyone else, but those truly important to you know you're special. You can find inspiration even in a can of soup. Work as a team, but retain your individuality. Yeah, this person definitely will think and know that you're special, and that's why they're going to want you in their life. And I feel like they're going to think you're special and know you're special because of your spiritual gifts. Like, they definitely like that you're spiritual or, you know, you're, you, you dabble in spirituality. You're probably going to share that with this person. Like, you know, talk about astrology or talk about some of you guys read Oracle. This person will ask you questions about their career. They're going to be really interested. They're going to pretend like maybe they're not that interested in it, but they really are. And they'll probably go home and think about like all the things you teach them and tell them. And I feel like this person, um, you're definitely going to feel like it's a true love because you're really going to feel connected to them. But I'm also seeing for you guys that this person could be coming in the next couple months. And definitely um, meditation will probably bring you more insight on who this person is. And yeah, ask your angels. It's funny, option number two, I am getting that you guys are very psychic. So, you know, your angels definitely want to reveal to you some of the information that I'm telling you right now, especially if you're in this situation right now. I'm also seeing this person could have some Aries in their chart as well. I see that they have a stubborn, a little bit aggressive side, a little fire to them. And I feel like for some of you guys, this could be um, a short, you know, but in like a learning type of relationship. And for some of you guys, yeah, I feel like this person does have a little bit of unclear thinking because I do feel they're a little detached from their emotions. And I feel like this person is also going to be not quite what you want in a relationship. So I feel like you got, you're going to have strong feelings for this person. Or if you're in the situation, you do have strong feelings for this person. But I do feel like eventually... Like, you're going to feel like, yeah, I kind of deserve better than this because I do feel like you're, you're just going to find that there's someone else out there you could be more successful with. Like, you guys are, like, going to feel like, you know what, I haven't really tried too hard to explore different types of people. This is just opening my mind up a bit, but I'm definitely ready to meet some new people. And I feel like with the Six of Swords, some of you guys may have some success Dating someone who is living a distance from you, I'm also seeing. So some of you guys will be dating this person and dating someone else as well. And I'm also seeing that with the sun here. Yeah, you guys definitely, I feel like once you start dating this person, like for whatever reason, they're going to make you feel like, yeah, this is fun, but I feel like there's someone better out there for me. And I feel like you guys are going to kind of be noncommittal with them as well. And I'm seeing that with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could be friends with some of your friends or you could just be hanging out with them in groups. But once again, I do see you guys kind of dating around and different energy coming in here. And that's what I see for um, option number two because I do see that, you know, this just, I just feel like, you know, with this, I feel like with this card over here, there's like this man sad sleeping and the woman kind of walking away. I feel like this person does have like a little like, codependent like childish side to them and I feel like you're just gonna be kind of fed up with that and kind of walk away from it but I do feel like there is gonna be real feelings there but I don't know what it is I feel like you're gonna walk away for, for something or a situation that seems more exciting than this person because this person does really like you and care about you but I feel like they're just not enough for you and that's kind of what's going on in the connection right now and I'm also seeing that 
yeah, for some of you guys, you're just you're just young and, and you want to pay attention to your health and you want to do what's best for you and you feel like you're young and you still got your good years left and you don't want to waste it on this person. And yeah, that's what I kind of do see for a lot of you guys. However, some of you guys definitely will be taking the relationship to the next level because I do see wedding hair. I think at least this person is going to feel like they want to marry you or they want to be with you. But I don't know if you guys are going to return that feeling, but it's going to depend on your situation. Like some of you guys will want that, you know, but I feel like you're going to ask help for others because I do feel like you might feel like it's your true love, but then later on you're going to, you're going to kind of, eh, I don't know about this. So that's what I see coming into your love life for option number two. And if you're currently going through this situation, let's pull some advice for you right now. The emperor. Yeah, this person is like, I feel like they do want to stay in your life. Like I said before, um, I do feel like also some advice I do see is you guys need to stay on your ground. Nine of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person is the type of person that they always feel like they get what they want and they're going to kind of be relentless in pursuing you. So the advice is that you guys definitely just need to follow your intuition, like follow your creativity, like follow where your heart is leading you when in regards to this connection. Because I do feel like um, you're just going to have to see what happens in this connection. Because I'm not saying that it's that you guys are going to end badly, but I am saying there's going to be some forgiving and some learning from this situation. But I definitely see you definitely really liking this person when they come into your life. And, you know, for some of you guys, it is potential for long term. But there's some, you know, this person does have a little bit of learning to do. So that's what I see for option number two. All right, option number three. Let's see who's coming into your love life next. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so we do have somebody that definitely needs to um, move on from their past, I'm getting. Um, it's got to be someone that has a little bit of commitment problems coming in. I see that, yeah, this person definitely likes to keep their choices when they're dating, so I do see that coming in strong. Yeah, we're definitely getting someone indecisive. They could have some air in their chart. Um, I'm also seeing that this could be somebody, yeah, who's been through a lot of heartache. This person's definitely been through heart heartbreak in their past, and I do see that this has effect affected them like to this very day. I'm also seeing somebody who does have a side of them that is innocent and playful. And, you know, because you, some of you guys are saying, why am I going to want to pursue this person? Or if you're talking to this person, then you know what I'm talking about right now. But I feel like they got a side to them that is very endearing and sweet. They could have some water in their chart as well. I am picking up water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm also picking up air signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Coming out of this person strong. The two cups is here. So, yeah, even though that it feels like... You guys have a really strong connection. Like, I do feel like you're going to have a lot of good times together. And I do see this. And I feel like, yeah, see how Scorpio came up? They could have a lot of Scorpio in their chart. Because I feel like this person is very passionate. But they, they really do value their freedom. So I am seeing that. Oh, my God, Gemini, too. See how I said the arrow in the water coming up? And then we see it again. So there we go. More air, more water. You guys are going to have, this person is very chatty. You're going to have great communication. This person is very flirty. They're very fun. Um, they move really fast, so I feel like you are going to get a little swept up in this relationship, but I feel like with the Mars here that this person um, definitely needs to be a little bit more clear about their intentions because I do feel like they do kind of like to have their choices in love and romance. So um, this card says, in life, as a cricket, you have to stay in to avoid getting out. A sticky wicket doesn't mean you can't hit a six. If you're boiled and goggly, don't get caught in the back foot. So yeah, I feel like... Um, this is kind of saying that this person, I feel like they're going to appear like they're a homebody. Like, that's what I kind of do feel like. And I also feel like this person is definitely going to, I don't know, if something about it, I feel like they're definitely going to appear like a homebody. That's what I'm getting from this card over here. I feel like they might like to wear sweaters as well. That's why this this is coming in here, like, this way. I'm also feeling like they're going to be very playful. Like, they're going to want to play, like, like games with you and a lot of stuff. Like, not even, like, mind games, but I feel like they're just really playful. A lot of, like, you're just going to have so much fun with this person. And I'm seeing that, you know, this person's definitely going to take action towards you. But I feel like some of you guys are just going to be, like, turned off to this person because I feel like you guys believe that you're ready for an official title relationship and this person may not be giving that to you. But I do see the Seven of Wands. Like, you guys might be defending yourself against this person and you're just looking for somebody who definitely can give you a little bit more commitment right now. But I do feel like, overall, this person is going to be very fond of you and they're going to have some sort of creative gift as well. But I do feel like, overall, like, you guys might... might want to be a hermit or they might want to be a hermit in this situation but I do feel like you guys definitely um are gonna like this person because they do have a hermit side to them but it's just it's also like hmm I also feel like you might have a choice of somebody else coming in as well but I am getting some Virgo vibes coming from this person too or from you or from another person coming in 
And I am seeing with the tower here. Yeah, so I do feel like there could be some arguments in this situation because I do feel you and this person may not always be on the same page. But moving forward, I do see you might reconsider your feelings for this person or they might reconsider their feelings for you. I feel like the relationship is going to start off one way and switch in another direction. And depending on your situation is how it's going to switch or what direction it switches in. So that's what I see for option number three about what's coming in next in your love life or who's coming in next. Hope you guys enjoy that. I'm also seeing this person, like I said before, they're just really playful and they're really fun. But I feel like there's a side of them that you're just going to, it's going to rub you the wrong way. That's kind of what I see. All right. Option number four. Let's see who is coming towards you in your love life. All right. Here we go. So, wow. So right off the bat, you or this person are going to believe each other are the one upon meeting. I feel like this is somebody that, interesting, we got reunion and new love. So, you know what it is? It's going to be really feel like you know this person when you meet them. But you're going to be reuniting from your past life. Because although this is a new love in this life, for you guys, it's a it's a love that you've known for many lifetimes. Hence, so this could be the one feeling that just comes in very strongly upon meeting each other. Okay, the hair. This person loves, like, to study. They love to learn. They are definitely someone who loves to keep to themselves. Um, they might be a writer or have a writing gift. I'm also seeing that this person might, um, what's the word, inspire you to, to continue with some of your gifts or some of your writing. You know, you're going to feel very inspired when you this person. The Hierophant is here, so it's like, it definitely could be a, a traditional kind of connection as well. Like, you know, wine and dining, dating type of thing. You know, you guys might do things by the book. I'm also seeing the Ace of Swords here. This person is very sharp. They're very witty. And they're definitely going to have a lot of clarity about, like, moving in your direction. They definitely are going to feel very clear that they want you. I'm seeing with the Five of Wands that um, there is going to be a little bit of conflict, I do feel. Because I feel like some of you guys are this Queen of Swords energy. So some of you guys are Air Signs, Aquarius. Um, I'm sure I heard Pisces, but okay. So some Pisces in there. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, Aries as well. You guys are very strong personalities I'm seeing for you. So I feel like some of you guys might have a hard time letting this person in. And you might cause conflict in the relationship just because you kind of feel like defending yourself because you've been through a lot in relationships and you kind of don't trust very easily. So this person might be a little turned off by that because they feel like they're trying their best with you and you're, you, you definitely are a little like de defensive or standoffish with this connection. And let's see why. I just feel like you might not see the opportunity with this person at first. Like, they, they're going to feel like they're offering you something and, they're, and um, you know, they're not listening. Or there's just going to be something about this person that you don't like. Like, that you feel like they don't listen to you about. Like, I almost see with this Four of Cups, like, maybe this person has a problem, like... Like, you know, even I don't know why, but I see this guy, like, just being pessimistic, or I see this guy kind of drinking, or just, like, not really, like, facing his problems, and I feel like this person may have an avoidance tendency, and it might turn you off, and you're like, I don't like that about them, so that's what I kind of see coming in, but I do feel like with the world here, there is, like, this person really does view you, like, very like, wow, you know, like, they really are really happy you're, you're in their life, or when you come into their life, they're going to be so happy and excited, and yes, I do feel like this is a real connection for you guys, I do feel like this, um, one thing that really turns you off about them, it is something that you're meant to learn from and grow from, and maybe even help them with that problem that they have, I do see the six of cups, wow, so yeah, you guys are definitely instantly going to feel super connected, again, Aquarius is coming in, so this could be you guys, or they can have Aquarius in their chart, let's see what else is going on with them, ten of cups, this person's a family person, um, I'm also seeing they could have a lot, they're a family person, but they could have a lot of family problems. You know, they could also come from a broken home and that's why they're so upset over, you know, they're pessimistic. They don't trust people or you don't trust them or whatever. Or this could be you. You guys might have had hard times with your family and they could be the family oriented person. And maybe you don't get why they care so much with their family things. And, you know, maybe you don't come from that background. You know what I'm saying? There's something going on between you and them that have to do with family, but you both care about each other and you both will care about your family and stuff. But I feel like there's just something going on here. But overall, you guys will also come together and be really happy together as well so let's see what else yeah the six of pentacles is here this person is very generous i do feel like they do have some success to them because like, they do want to spend money and time on you and they do have those resources i'm seeing with the sun here they can also have some leo in their chart um they're very prideful of their relationships they care a lot i'm also seeing with neptune here this person is idealizing you or will idealize you they will put you on a pedestal and i feel like that's going to cause some problems you're not going to like that you're going to want them to be a little bit more grounded about the situation but overall i do see 
It says, love may just be over the next garden fence. Be your own adventure. Don't be afraid to fall. You'll land on your feet. Like, you guys definitely are afraid of falling in love. And I do feel like this person is going to allow you to do that. So make sure you guys just kind of let them in. Because I feel like this is a good connection for you. The flaw that they have is a human flaw. Like, maybe you guys are idealistic. And you expect someone to be perfect. And maybe this person is not perfect. They have something about them that you said, oh, I would never date someone who's blank, you know. Whatever it is that they have going on. And now you realize that. That was wrong of you to judge somebody in that situation or you will learn that in this situation. But I do see that, you know, there's spiritual reasons why you guys are connected and this person is going to be worth waiting for when they come in. Now, I am seeing this person is going to compliment you a lot and I feel like they're going to come at a time where you feel very dissatisfied with life. You could be born in January. They could be born in January. Wow, we're getting so much Aquarius energy coming in here again. But I am seeing you could have met them in January if you're talking to them right now. And yeah, karma. I feel like you guys have great karma, you've done a lot for people, you're caring, and you deserve someone who's going to do the same for you. I do believe this person believes in karma and doing right for people, so, you know, I do feel like this is going to be a good opportunity for you guys when it comes down to it. This will be a good relationship opportunity. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you met this person, sounds good, keep it up. And if you're about to meet them, get excited because they do sound like a very positive connection for your life. Alright, option number five. Let's see who's coming towards you in love and why. So, if you chose option number five, let's see what's going on. So, this is someone you're really going to enjoy getting to know. I do feel like this is someone who does have a lot of depth to their character. They're going to appear one way, and then when you get to know them, you're going to learn things about them that you find very interesting, that you find very fascinating. And I do feel like you're going to really feel like you and this person will be together forever. So, the one thing I do see is that this person does like to go all in when they really care about relationships or people so they might open up to you about a heartbreak in their past or you might open up to them about a heartbreak in your past I see you guys messaging each other about heartbreak you know you could meet while you're both going through a heartbreak or one person's going through a heartbreak all or you could have been you could be separating from someone right now that you thought you were gonna be together forever with so when you get to know this new person it may invoke some old feelings you know from the past you know like getting to know somebody new it might be kind of hurtful to you but kind of exciting as well now I do see with the Empress here like Wow, this person thinks you're so beautiful and gorgeous and amazing. And I do feel like they're really going to put you on a pedestal. I do see with the Four of Wands that this relationship will bring in some stability for you guys. I do feel like you're going to feel very comfortable and stable around this person. You're going to know where you stand with them. They're going to be very open and honest with you about where they stand with the relationship. You're not going to be kind of left like confused because I kind of feel like you guys definitely had relationships in the past where somebody was coming going from your life and it kind of made you feel like confused or unsure and I feel like this person is not that type because I do see kind of with the eight of swords reverse like you're releasing this knight of wands energy you could be like coming out of a relationship right now from somebody that just wasn't giving you what you wanted and they, you never knew where you stood and it kind of really stressed you out so I kind of feel like you're coming out of that and you're gonna meet someone who gives you stability and sees you for the empress that you are now, I feel like, yeah, because you guys have been through so much with relationships. I do see a lot of anxiety. You're going to ha have a hard time trusting this. But I do feel like this person really is somebody who's in it for the long haul. And I feel like, you know, this person is just going to love you for being yourself. I feel like, you know, this person really is going to let you shine. And they're really going to be a positive influence on you. Now, let's see what else is going on here. You see the angels are saying yes. So that just means to confirm what I'm saying. And I'm also seeing that this is the type of person that you've been calling in for a while. So I feel like when they finally come, you guys are going to try to be looking out for the red flags. You're going to be like, all right, where are the red flags? Because you're so used to it. But the angels are saying, just wait, like give it a chance, give it a shot and see how it goes. Because there's definitely a lot of passion coming into this relationship. And I do feel like for a lot of you guys, there is someone better out there from what you've experienced in the past. Now, this person could have cancer. Taurus or Aries in their chart. I'm also seeing this person can come in just to kind of tr help, help you rebuild your trust. Like maybe you won't completely want to be with this person like for the long haul, but I do feel like for you and them that you're going to enjoy getting to know each other and this person's going to have a side to them that you trust and they're just going to show you that good people do exist. And like I said before, they can have cancer in their chart, Taurus or Aries. So I do see these signs really being open and honest about their feelings, especially with this combination. They could have like, you know, a water rising, a fire sign in an earth moon or something you know or whatever it doesn't make sense i mean it makes sense like if you switch up the signs doesn't matter like i'm just saying like they could have a combination of water fire and earth like they're very well balanced so i feel like they are going to tell you where they stand and i'm also seeing that um for a lot of you guys this could be somebody that you already on and off with like i do see reconciliation this could be someone you already know or this could be a friend that's trying to pursue you deeper and I'm also seeing that um, for some of you guys, this person that is flaky coming out of your life that hurt you is going to try to come back into your life. And it probably will kind of affect your relationship with this person. So it's saying in the near future, 
get more information like when this person comes in get more information about the connection or when the person from the past comes up get more information but let's see overall what we should know about this connection this person's probably gonna give you constructive criticism about some of the things that are going on in your life and maybe it's something that you need to hear i'm also seeing that you know this person from your past they are very arrogant and boastful and i feel like you're gonna try to do away with that energy because this person that's coming in they're not like that at all and i see that you're definitely gonna have a wish come true when this person comes in and i feel like this person's also gonna give you advice about how to bring more money into your life and you will be bringing more money into your life you know even if this person doesn't do that but i see like this person's definitely gonna remind you to stay optimistic about your love life but i'm trying to see if there's some potential here yeah, this person is going to be very fond of you, but what you do with this connection is going to be ultimately up to you because I do see you guys are still healing right now. So maybe you're not completely ready to commit to this person when they do come in, but I do feel like you're going to have good times and trust this person. And, you know, in the least bit, you guys are going to have a friendship, you know, and I do see it's going to be kind of the ball is going to be in your court for once, which is nice because I feel like you guys kind of been you know, in, confused in your relationships in the past due to the other party, not yourself. So that's what I see for option number five. All right, option number six. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Like, who is coming towards you next and why? So we got somebody here who's definitely a soulmate of yours that fate will bring you together. And I feel like this person definitely will not make you feel trapped in getting to know them. You're going to enjoy that. You're not going to feel pressured or anything like that. You're just going to go at your own pace. They're going to allow you to do so. I'm also feeling like this person is going to really love watching you from afar. I really feel like, yeah, I don't know why, with Four of Pentacles, it's like they see you and they never want to let you go. But I'm also feeling like this kind of perspective is like, uh, like I feel like we're kind of watching her do her thing without her really noticing. So I feel like this person is going to be doing that a lot with you. Maybe you're in some sort of environment or meet them in an environment where they can watch you. And, like, not really, like, what's the word I'm trying to say? Like, they can watch you, but you can't really notice they're looking at you. Or they're going to watch you on your social media. I feel like they're going to do a lot of, like, watching you because they just admire you a lot. The Queen of Pentacles is here. Um, Yeah, they definitely think you're really successful. I mean, I'm getting some work vibes or some school vibes. They just love the way that you are, like, very smart and down to earth. You could have some earth in your chart. They do really view you as just someone who's just a natural beauty. And they do they do see that about you. And we got five of pentacles. So, interesting. Let's see why. Strength. This person is going to view you as very strong. They're going to think that you are someone who's been through a lot and still is very strong. Or this person has been through a lot in their life. And I feel like you're both kind of like mirrors in that way. you both kind of been through some tough situations. And you both had the strength to get, it, to get through those situations on your own. So, I feel like, yeah, this person is definitely just going to admire that about you. They're definitely going to have a lot of strong urges towards you. Sexual urges and feelings towards you. But they're going to try to like hide that a little bit because I do feel like it's the kind of their free will if they want to act on it. And for some reason, they, they are a little hesitant on acting on their feelings right now. So I am seeing that this person definitely with the Queen of Wands here. Yeah, they think you're super attractive. They think you're like sexy, confident, amazing. They're going to think that about you. But I kind of am talking in like present tense. So maybe you guys already know this person. And that's why I'm saying it like that. I'm also seeing that this person definitely trusts you a lot. And I feel like I feel like there is going to be, like, um, a nice relationship coming in here between the two of you. And I'm seeing that basically it's going to be up to you what you want to do. So this is a connection with somebody who does really like you. And I feel like fate will bring them in. They are a soulmate. So basically, you're going to be more the assertive person. I feel like this person is going to kind of be a little bit more laid back. So you can kind of direct the relationship where you want it to go. I'm also seeing that, you know, you're going to go through a time period of frustration. Because I do feel like this person is not going to act completely on their feelings because they do have a very stubborn side and I do see that you know this person will want to plan to get closer to you but they're not going to be very good at putting those plans into action and I am seeing that you're going to have some psychic ability that this person likes you so trust your intuition and I see that this is somebody that you're going to meet that's going to be really important to your life and I feel like some of you guys will be meeting this person in August so let's see why they are important to your life um, I feel like they're going to help you kind of stand your ground about certain things and I feel like you guys are just going to have a lot of good time, a lot of romance, and they're going to bring some joy into your life. And I feel like, yeah, you and this person definitely are very spiritual. So you're going to come together for spiritual development and you're going to help each other kind of um, build more awareness in your spirituality. And I do see that you guys are going to go through a period where it's just everything is nice, like a honeymoon period. And once again, trust. So I feel like you guys definitely had a lot of trust lacking in a lot of your relationships. So I do feel like, well, maybe you had someone in your past that broke your trust. So I feel like you're just going to trust this person. And it's going to be really nice. 
this person is also going to come in to help you release your ex. And if you're not involved with your ex, then you have some memories and pain about relationships that your ex has brought upon you. Like they, your ex may have given you some negative beliefs about people, relationships, about how relationships go. And I feel like this person's coming in to kind of rethink, to help you rethink what you really feel like is healthy in a relationship. And because I feel like you guys may have not had trust and now you're letting go of that lack of trust. And some of you guys literally are involved with an ex that's no good for you. And this person's going to help you release that because you trust that, you know, they're going to have your back. And I feel like with the ninth house here, this person definitely is very spiritual. They they have a lot of values and they're very respectful and they could be very well-traveled, very deep. I guess some Sagittarius vibes coming in here um, or some Aquarius vibes. Or I also feel like this person is a humanitarian. They love helping people. They could have some Leo in their chart. I'm seeing they could also have some Virgo and they could also have some Libra in their chart as well. Or you can add those signs in. But I'm seeing just like earth signs, water signs, Oh, water signs came. I'm seeing all the signs, but for some reason, Leo, Virgo, and Libra kind of came in strong. So they're probably going to have those signs somewhere in their chart. Or you do, but this I really feel like this could be their chart. And yeah, it says loyalty will be richly rewarded. Money can't buy happiness unless you pay someone to scratch your head. You can't take it with you. Why not leave it with your cat? So this is my little cat deck. That's cute. Um, This person definitely has like, I feel like a lot of abundance coming into their life, whether or not they know it. And I'm also feeling like they, they have something of value. Maybe it's not money, but there's something very much that they have something very much that you value. And I feel like it's loyalty. Like you've never seen a t this type of loyalty in somebody ever. And I feel like you're really going to admire that about them. And I feel like this is something very valuable that they have. And I do feel like with the four of swords, the only thing you're not going to enjoy is that this person is going to try to, you know, um, I feel like they're going to try to, what's the word? Like play a little bit of games or just keep a distance because they're afraid of just taking that leap towards you. So, but I do feel like for a lot of you guys, it's only because this person has been very hurt in the past. And I do see that they're going to come towards you when they are feeling a little bit better. And let's see what else is coming in about this connection. Just that, yeah, I feel like you guys definitely are going to choose a lot of new directions in the inner life because of being this person. So this is what I see for option number six. Yeah, this person, it's definitely time for them to act. If you know them already and if you don't know them, they're definitely going to... I feel like they're going to make move towards you. They're going to have you around in their life, but I feel like they're not going to confess their feelings very easily. And, but it's going to be a very unique and beneficial relationship for the both of you guys coming in. So that's what I see for option number six about the person coming into your life next who's coming towards you. All right, moving along. Option number seven. Let's see who's coming towards you in love and why. Let's see what's going on here. So, let's see what's going on. All right. So, we do have, um, all right. So, we do have somebody that you, in, that you may be in a relationship with already or you might have met before or this is somebody you couldn't already be in a relationship with or somebody that um, is an ex or some kind of energy like that because we see, yes, this person's going to be back. But I feel like this was a connection or is a connection that's going to help you love yourself first. And if you haven't met this person yet, then it's just somebody that's coming back from a past life. But I do feel like you are going to learn how to be victorious in your own life through this connection. I feel like with the moon here, yeah, this person is, um, they, they're not going to reveal to you everything. Like, I feel like they're just very secretive and it's because they're just very confused about their own life. And I feel like with the lovers here, regardless, you guys are going to have a very strong bond and a strong connection. This person has a lot of anxiety problems and I feel like they could escape a lot with the seven of cups into fantasy and the moon. Like this person could have struggle a little bit with some mental illness and stuff like that going on. But I do see it's because they have a lot of anxiety about love and relationships and it could stem from their past. And I'm also seeing about this person that um, I feel like this is okay. So I do feel like this is somebody that you're involved with, but they're really afraid of the fact that you might go and meet somebody new. So I feel like they have, this could be someone you're involved with right now and they're, and they're afraid that you're going to meet someone new. They have some intuition that you might meet someone new. I am seeing that, you know, the situation is going to improve, but you need to be assertive with this person. So let's see what's going on more so I can get some more clarifications. Okay. So yeah, this is somebody who is pursuing you right now. I just feel there's very strong energy and I feel like you guys feel like you deserve better than this person because I do feel like the love yourself first is coming up. I'm also seeing with the eight of wands here, this person does definitely like to call you, text you, reach out to you. They want to be around you. They're going to really give you a lot of attention or are giving you a lot of attention. 
And there's gonna be some transformations to this relationship. I do feel like there's some karmic tendencies here, but that's okay because most relationships have things that are karmic and learning to grow from, if not all of them. But this person has a lot of bad karma. I feel like there's self that they're blowing off. I feel like they need to learn on their own. I feel like they need to go through some struggles on their own in order to like live, like in order to grow from the situation between the two of you. And I do feel like um, you guys are gonna have some good times together. I don't know why I see so much victory and celebration. So I do feel like you and this person um, definitely are going to be having a lot of good times together. Um, this person could have some Pisces in their chart. I'm also seeing with the second house here, um, you know, you're this person's going to make you challenge your beliefs. I feel like you guys might have different opinions on things. I'm also seeing with the sixth house here. I feel like you're going to spend a lot of time helping this person or they're going to spend a lot of time trying to help you. But I do feel like greet everyone as if they were a friend and soon they will be. There's a special... Providence of a fall of a sparrow. Take pride in your work even when it seems ins insignificant. So it's saying, yeah, treat this person as a friend. They will be your friend. Hmm, I'm trying to get some clarification on this relationship. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So this is what I'm getting, yeah. This is something that you've been involved with for a while. And they're saying, you know, start treating them more like a friend. And maybe you guys can't just transition into being just friends. Because I feel like this person is really romantic with you and does want to be with you, but I feel like they have some sort of problem that you can't really resolve and they're going to resolve it on their own, but you need to be assertive and realize that you can't, you do deserve better. And I do feel like you're going to be victorious. Like this person will try to want you back if this is an ex, but I do feel like you're going to like meet somebody new that you're really going to, with the lovers here, that you're really going to enjoy more. And this person's going to have a lot of anxiety about it, but you're going to have to let go of that because their toxic traits are kind of, um, affecting you in your life and I feel like it's time for you guys to venture off into new love so if you want to pick another pile for the new love go ahead and do so option number seven but um, option number seven is definitely an X energy that's coming towards you again and you guys just need to be assertive with them the more assertive you are with them the more your situation will improve so that's what I'm seeing and they do kind of want you back but I just feel like they're really confused they have really confused thinking because they're not the healthiest and I feel like they have a hard time balancing their own life and I feel like it kind of affects you that they can't balance very well but I feel like you do have very happy times with this person, but you're just looking for more stability at this point. So it might break their heart for you to find this new love, but I do feel like it's important for you guys to speak your mind because you want to be with this King of Pentacles and energy is somebody who is really reliable. And I feel like somebody, you know, it says family matters. So I feel like this person, your ex from your past or whatever, they are like family to you and they do matter to you. But I feel like there's just a side of them that's very young and immature. And I feel like you guys are just going to want to try to move forward from that. So I feel like you guys are going to make changes towards this new person coming in here. And um, honor and respect will come to you more you stand your ground with this person from your past. So I'm just seeing someone you really care about that may be younger, less mature than you, or both. And you, you want to move away from them because they're not giving you what you want. But you're going to meet someone new. And don't worry what this person thinks because you need to do what's best for you. The angels are going to give you signs about how to proceed with this connection. And, you know, you're going to have to make some sort of compromise here. Big happy changes are coming to you guys, option number seven. Pick another card to see who your new love is that's also coming in. Because I feel like, yes, your ex is going to try to pursue you. But you guys are going to be distracted by a new love coming in. And this person is going to have to just accept that. All right, option number eight. Let's see who is coming towards you in your love life. Let's see who it is and what kind of relationship you guys are going to have. All right, option number eight. All right, so. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. So, all right. Yeah, this is somebody who's going to be like really super infatuated with you guys. Option number eight. I am seeing they could have some Capricorn in their chart. But for whatever reason, I feel like they're going to want to give you commitment. But I do feel like you guys are not going to want to return that commitment. But regardless, they're still going to try to pursue you, give you gifts. Like they're just going to think you're so beautiful, the queen of cups. And I feel like they just feel overwhelming amount of love for you. And they're going to keep trying to work towards. They feel like if they keep working at it, that you guys are going to like budge and like you guys are going to be together. I kind of see. Um, he raises here. It's a very unique person. They could have some Aquarius in their chart as well. Or you could be very unique and have some Aquarius in your chart. I mean, I'm also getting some water from this person's chart and some earth as well. But that really doesn't matter. Let's see what else I see. I see this person, um, they just, like, I feel like they just, hmm. I kind of feel like this person has no no shame, I'm hearing. Like, they don't care. Like, they just keep pursuing you. They don't care if other people judge them. Like, they get super excited when you're around and they see you and, like, like, they have tunnel vision. When they want something and they're excited about something, like, they don't care what anybody else thinks. Like, they're going to go for it and pursue it. That's kind of what I see here. And I'm also seeing with the, um, 
with the four swords, like, you're just gonna try to, like, block them out. I feel like, I feel like some of you guys, like, it's not like you don't like this person. You actually are gonna like them, but it's just that you have a lot going on in your life when this person tries to come in, and I feel like you're just gonna not want to put the energy towards them too much. And I am seeing that your intuition is just going to tell you that maybe this isn't the right person for you with the unrequited love. Just be patient. You're going to have answers about this connection. Either way, this person is going to try to be really helpful towards you. And this person um, does have a lot of family issues that need healing. And you guys are going to be talking about those things. I do feel like you're going to open up to this person a lot. Are they going to open up to you? And that's why they're going to feel so connected to you and want to pursue you. And I see this person is interested um, in furthering their finances, furthering their careers. Maybe you're going to give them advice about that. I'm also seeing... Um, okay, so... Okay, so better the devil you know than the cat you don't. Would you rather call the shots or down a shot? Always think four moves ahead of your next pounds. This per this is this person's personality, I feel like. They're kind of like this, you know? They're just like... <laughs> you see how that cat is kind of like holding like a bottle and they're just like kind of careless. They got, they got, he has a little gun in his pocket. Like, this person could actually have like some roots that like... You know, um, that they might be interested in guns and stuff like that. I'm also seeing with the chess here. This person's very strategic, but they're also the type of person that... Likes to just be very impulsive and go for their goals. They could be Capricorn or have Capricorn in their part. I feel like they're kind of a hot mess. I'm not going to lie. And I feel like they like you because you seem to give them some sort of structure that they've been lacking in their life. And I feel like it's like, uh, would you rather call the shots or down the shot? You know, this person definitely, I feel like they're going to invite you out drinking. Like, they might have, say stuff like that. Like, they're going to be like, hey, let's take a shot tonight. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they're very playful. And I do feel like they are um, a little bit of a party animal as well. And I'm also feeling like this person, they're also incredibly intelligent. Like, that's the part that's going to throw you off about them because I do see, like, they're planning and they're plotting and you didn't even think that. They are they are plotting to try to win you over, always, because I feel like they, they got their eyes on you. So let's see what you're going to do about this. Um, ha, 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 ha. Sorry, uh, the angels are cracking me up. They said, good luck. It says, good luck, make the effort. I really feel like that's sarcasm. Like, you're going to be like, good luck making, good luck with that. You know what I mean? Like, like, good luck making the effort. You know, like, they're going to be like, oh, I really want so-and-so. And other people are going to be like, well, good luck with that. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, um, I feel like with perfect timing, you and this person, I don't know. But I do feel like there's a connection here. Because I feel like you guys will have good communication. You'll get along well. But I don't feel like you want that person on that level that they want you. And I am seeing, see, great chemistry. And I just feel like this person's hoping that you guys will get it to the next level. But I really feel like um, they have a side to them. They're just going to be too pushy, too controlling. And I feel like it's going to turn you off. And I also feel like it's just not the right time for you to be in that sort of connection. But I feel like you guys definitely do believe in this person. And you are going to help them out. And um, I am feeling that a lot of you guys definitely need to teach this person to kind of not really be like... To be more careful with their money. And I'm also seeing greediness coming out of them. But I'm also seeing that... You know, they kind of, like, I feel like they're greedy because maybe they just want you all to themselves and maybe you already are interested in somebody else, you know? But I do feel like you're going to teach them how to build a solid foundation in their life and I feel like, or you have a solid foundation and they just find that really attractive about you. So that's what I see about option number eight. I do feel like it's somebody that you, you that you are attracted to in ways, but they are going to rub you the wrong way because they're going to keep, like, pursuing you and not really, like, care about your, like, boundaries too much. And I feel like they're just going to have a side of you. They're like, they want you and they don't care what anybody else thinks. And I feel like your reaction to this is that you know you, you're gonna do what you want it's up to you but I feel like they're just gonna cause you some stress because they're just going to be so pushy and I don't feel like that's your you really like that option number eight so that's who's coming towards you next in love all right let's see who's coming towards you next in love option number nine let's see what's going on here for you guys so I see that all right so hmm if you chose option number nine let's see what's going on here all right we got the star here so we have someone who enjoys watching you from afar. They could um, have Aquarius or Libra in their chart. I'm seeing they definitely have some air sign tendencies. And this is someone who's extremely overworked. And this is someone who's um, kind of like a little emotionally cut off, I'm getting, because they kind of shut themselves down to deal with some difficult situations. I do feel like this person does have a very childish, playful nature. And I do feel like this is someone that you close the door on. But this person does really miss you right now. So this is someone coming back from your past, option number nine. I mean, I'm seeing this clearly. Um, this is somebody who does like to put themselves first. And they could have some Sagittarius in their chart. I'm also seeing with the fifth house here, this person is extremely playful. They're extremely fun. But I just feel like there's something about them that 
that you just don't really enjoy. I feel like you really do want to give this person a chance because you do have a past life together, but there's just sides of them that you really just don't understand and it kind of gives you worriness. Like, it makes you worried and, and you're just like, don't worry about this person too much. Let's see, this person, um, they're not going to get their wish because I do feel like they don't really know what they want and I'm also seeing that you guys are just kind of pursuing happiness right now and you're just trying to just overcome any kind of obstacle that comes your way. So yeah, this person's definitely lusting over you right now. Option number nine, this is somebody from your past, but I feel like you're not going to get your wish of commitment from them or they're not going to get their wish of being successful in their lustful endeavors. It's like vice versa because I just see like one person is just not on the same page as the other. So that's why I see who's coming in for you. Let's see what else. Yeah, I feel like for option number nine, this person is just not honest about their feelings or something going on in their life. Uh, this is someone who doesn't really like to reveal their cards and they do have some selfish tendencies. They do always put themselves first and I feel like you guys are just kind of turned off by that. But I do feel like you guys are going to want to give this person a chance but you might just kind of learn the hard way that this person is just not the committal type type and that you deserve better so this relationship is going to teach you that you, that you deserve better i feel like 99 percent of you guys know this person already and you're already going through this so you know what i'm talking about so you're not shocked or upset that i say this and i feel like your friends are trying to help you out give you good advice and i'm also seeing that you guys have good luck coming in especially if you're working hard right now in your career and i feel like you guys are really worried about something right now they're just saying stop worrying so much like everything's going to happen the way it's meant to especially your career and i am seeing that um some of you guys, like, something happened that kind of made you worried, and they just are saying that that was just a sign from the universe to kind of show you that there's a warning that something is coming ahead. Like, not anything bad, but I feel like there's something that happened between you and this person that worried you, and I feel like it was just a sign, like, maybe, I don't know, I can't really put my finger on it. It might depend on your situation. Let's see. I feel like, yeah, time to get out of a situation. I feel like something happened between you and this person, and I just feel like, um... It was just kind of reminding you that it was time to get out of this situation. That's what I kind of get. Like, it could have been an argument or something happened or uh, regarding your finances or just something around this, surrounding this person that really kind of stressed you out. And I feel like it was a sign from the universe. So don't blame yourself if something went wrong. And I feel like you guys definitely want a more emotionally secure, loving relationship that's important to you. And I do feel like that's going to come in. But this person doesn't really have that security you need. Um, I do feel like this person might try to express their love towards you. However, I just feel like they're the type of person that kind of comes in between the success that you want in their life. They could be really needy or codependent or just annoying or just, um, you know, ruin your day or unsympathetic. It's just something about them that just kind of puts you in a bad mood. So I do see they could be an air sign or have air sign in their chart. But I do feel like, yeah, just or this person just did something and you just wanted to get out of the situation. So this could be someone coming back from the past. Um, let's see what exactly they're coming back for. Yeah, it's just somebody you definitely are separated from for a reason. And I just feel like you're on the right path right now. So this person's only going to distract you. And I feel like that's who's coming towards you in love. Option number nine. But you guys know what to do about the situation. Obviously, you deserve better. So if you want to pick another card and you feel like there's someone else else coming in, go ahead and do so because this is someone from your past. And but a lot of you guys are going to try to give this person a chance. That's the message I'm getting. And you could give this person a chance if you really want to, but, you know, I'm kind of, they're just saying, like, this is the warning that you got, you know, this is the warning, that's what I see for you guys, option number nine, you know who I'm talking about, they're saying, right now, they might be warning you of something coming ahead, like, you know, this person's not going to give you exactly what you want, option number nine, I'm sorry to tell you that, but you guys probably already know this deep down, because you know this person already, alright, option number ten. Let's see what's coming towards you next in your love life, so I do see that... This is somebody who's coming in once you enter a next chapter in your life. I feel like um, you're going to be doing a lot of changes in your life. This person's going to come in. After you make a lot of changes, I am seeing that this person... Um, okay, so this person is going to have a little bit of a, a devilish kind of personality. They are going to be kind of like lustful. I do feel like they are going to be kind of a slave to their addictions. I am seeing this could be somebody that um, you meet in a group or out with friends. I do see this going on a very flirtatious individual. And I feel like this person is going to be pretty hardworking with the chariot. And um, they're also going to be very busy, have a lot on their plate. So let's see what's going in here. Okay, so... Hmm. So I feel like although this person does have some traits, like I do feel like you're going to feel very um, safe around this person because I do feel like um, for whatever reason they have a really nice vibe to them and they're really great communicators. So they are going to make you feel very safe. I do feel like with the um, seventh house here, you guys will kind of form some sort of partnership you know, I feel like you guys both have in common. You're both really hard workers. But um, I'm going to pull more cards to see what these two are about. But we've got the Mercury here. So 
Let's see, what is this about? So yeah, um, yeah, I feel like this person's just very playful. Um, you know, I feel like they're just kind of, and they're very attractive. You know, okay, so now I know what's going on here. I feel you guys, option number 10, like this person's gonna be so attractive to you. Like, you're gonna have a hard time like resisting your urges. I feel like you guys, like, you guys might be the type of person the kind of like lock in your desires and not really go for it. But I feel like this person's gonna make you wanna like, like jump out of your skin kind of thing. Uh, Cause I feel like they're just kind of like very attractive, almost very seductive. Up, oh, I sneezed. <laughs> All right, yeah, so that's what I kind of do see. Um, this could be like a friends with benefits type of thing because I do see a playful attraction going on here. It's gonna kind of challenge your beliefs about relationships because I feel like, you know what it is too? I feel like you're gonna feel safe with this person even though they're not really presenting to you. You're gonna feel safe and stable with them but they're not really presenting to you exactly what you want. But I do feel like they're gonna feel safe because there's just, there's just something about them that you really feel comfortable about. And I also feel like even though it isn't kind of like traditionally what you wanted, I feel like it's just something you wanna give a, a chance to because you're just so attracted to this person and you can't resist kind of ordeal. I feel like, yes, there's going to be a huge flirt and your your friends are going to kind of help you out with this connection. But I do feel like it's unlikely you're going to get the commitment you want from them. Let's see what's going on and why. I do feel like you're going to have strong feelings for this person. This is going to be a spiritual love for sure. And I feel like, you know, you're going to help this person overcome their problems. They're going to help you overcome your problems. And they're going to lead you to a lot of growth. It's definitely going to be a very spiritual connection. But I do see that things will always not be this way. A change is coming. A journey. Okay, so you might meet this person when you make some sort of move in your life or start a new chapter or a, a new school or a new um, job. Or I don't know, you meet this person in a new environment. And I feel like you're going to be really attracted to this person. You're going to automatically hit it off as friends. And I'm also seeing that this person is really creative. They're going to represent a fresh start in your life new opportunities, something that's like really positive coming out of this relationship. So let's see, let's see why, because I'm not really too sure. Okay, so I just feel like this, you're gonna have a lot of options. It's gonna be one of your options. And I'm also feeling like, yeah, you're just gonna go through, they're gonna teach you a lot about relationships in life, you know? This person might be more traveled or more mature or just have more experience than you. And they could have some Libra in their chart. I am seeing that. I'm also seeing that this person is just really hard for them to open up like emotionally. But I do feel like they're really going to expect, like, respect your intelligence. And you're really going to feel really happy around them. And I am feeling like, you know, this person does have an immature side to them. So that's kind of what I see coming in. But, yeah, this person's really going to pursue you and give you a lot of attention. So I feel like you're just going to be really excited about that. And that's what I kind of see coming in here. But I do feel eventually that maybe you are going to kind of, like... We'll see what happens, but I do feel like this person is like flirty and they're going to be trying to commit to you and I'm um, very playful and my phone is going off right now. Okay, so um, that's all I have for option number 10. I, I forgot to turn my phone on silent. So um, yeah, this person is going to teach you to go for your goals and they're going to be like really smart about finances. They're going to have some skills on that. And yeah, so last but not least, I want to say to you guys after this phone is done ringing, Love that. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, so that's a sign for you guys. This person is going to really try to communicate with you a lot. They're going to call you, text you all the time. Like, I kind of do see that. They're definitely going to try to be, like, somebody in your life. But the angels are saying you guys have, like, you might really know this person. You might be getting to know them already. And I feel like their signs could be um, fire sign or, or water sign. I do see that coming in. I'm also seeing for you guys that... Never try to predict the outcome of a relationship. You may be disappointed. So a lot of you guys have spiritual gifts and you're going to try to like predict what's going to happen between you two. But the angels are saying this is meant for learning and for, grow for growth. And you guys are, you know, try not to be kind of obsessive over it because I feel like you guys might have the tendency to get a little obsessive when you meet somebody. And, you know, you guys need to learn that um, all connections have a reason. They may not have an outcome that you desire, but it doesn't mean that they're not important. So this person's going to come in and kind of teach you that. I do feel like they're older than you. Um, I also feel like they're going to teach you to go back to the basics and kind of yeah you're really gonna have strong feelings for this person so you know we're not really gonna be able to tell what's gonna happen between you two just just know that you know you're gonna be really attracted to this person I do see like you know a lot of sexual energy I feel like you guys are gonna have a really pa a lot of passion in your relationship and yeah we'll see what go we'll see how that goes and if you're in this situation you know I just feel like don't try to predict the outcome let things happen naturally so that's what I see for you guys and um yeah it's the cherry is here you see how the chariot came up twice like this is someone you're meant to meet on your path and they are really fiery, ambitious, and they're going to kind of help you give you advice. And yeah, I kind of feel like they're going to help you walk away from things that are no longer serving you in your life. So that's what I kind of see for option number 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Leave a comment, a uh, thumbs up. Let me know your situation. If you know these people yet, if you haven't met them yet, 
Thank you guys so much. Bye.